Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you all have a fantastic start for August. I know it's not August yet, but it will be by the time I do the next video. So happy August. Um, I hope everybody's doing really, really well. So today's reading, this is going to be for Divine Soulmates, Twin Flames, where there is a karmic situation involved. I do the reading as if it is on the masculine side, but of course it can also resonate for um, feminine energies as well. So just take the messages as they make sense for you. And a karmic situation can be a karmic partner. That is how I tend to do the reading. Um, but of course it can be a situation or it can be um, a group of people or just any person it can be a relative, a co-worker, could be anything. So that is it. Do keep in mind that this reading is general, so it's not going to be very specific um, for everybody's situation. That's okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And yeah, um, personal readings tend to be quite longer, um, well, depending on which one you get. The extended readings are anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour, so we do get a lot more specific there. All right, let's see what is going on here. We will start by looking at the masculine's energy. We'll look at their energy towards their karmic situation as well as towards their feminine. Might get a few cards for the feminine, maybe not so much this time. And we'll also take a look at what is coming up. All right, so for the masculines, let's see what is going on currently. Oh, wow, okay, action. Well, that's a great start here because <laughs> it does feel like they have been pretty passive. Let's see what this action is about. Let's see, so what else? Okay, we have the void. And let me just get a couple more and tie it all together. So just give me a couple of seconds here. All right, first card went flying. Let's see. Okay, and it is Observer, and then we also have Mute and Offer. Okay, so here's what's happening here. Um, there is action that's happening behind the scenes. Obviously, having both the Observer and the Mute card, I am getting that this group of masculines are tending to hold back at the moment um, in terms of communication, contact, expression. So there is action that is happening, but it's happening like behind the scenes. I feel like they're not being very vocal about this action that is happening. So even if you are in communication with your masculine, um, I feel like at least for this group that we're tapping into today, they're holding back from telling you exactly what is happening. And what I do get is also is that um, Part of what their end goal here is to make some kind of an offer, all right? But to them, it feels like like they're really jumping into the unknown here. And I feel like that's why they're holding back because um, from telling you that there is some kind of a plan or that they are taking certain steps because it to them, it feels like they're stepping into the void, kind of like just stepping off the earth. Like, I don't even know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, this is intimidating to begin with, you know, let alone actually vocalizing it. Um, so yeah, let me put these up here. All right, and let's get into the tarot. So let's see more specific, if we can, please. What is going on with the masculines towards their karmic partner or situation? What is the general energy there? It's like they're feeling a little bit lost. It's like they're taking actions, but like not even understanding where it is that they're going or what it is that what, what exactly they're doing. It's just action is happening almost as if it is outside of their control. That's what it feels like. Um, all right, so first card out, we have the world, the three of swords, and then the five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so this group that I'm tapping into here, there's definitely um, a completion here. It's, it's like, Lessons are complete. Um, the karma that needed to be balanced 
hasn't been balanced, at least maybe not um, completely for this lifetime um, with their karmic partner, but it's been balanced enough to the point where there can be an ending. And so what's happening here is that there is pain. All right, we have the three of swords. So yes, there is a conclusion, but it is painful. Now for some of them, okay, um, it's painful because if it's, if it's a um, very committed relationship that they have been with this person for years, it's bound to be painful for that reason. For others, it's painful because of changes in their own belief system. So if it was something superficial, it's like, okay, you know, that ego death of realizing that, you know, super, something superficial is not, is not for me, it's not enough. But that can be a little bit difficult to deal with as well, you know, um, going from wanting something superficial to keep things light to realizing that you want something more substantial, something deeper. That can be scary and so that can cause pain as well for identity issues and purposes, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So it's going to be different for each of them, but either way there is this pain here. And the Three of Swords can also talk about a separation. And separations are always difficult even if it's what you want. So even um, I don't know, maybe some of you have, you know, been through this where it might be you who is, you know, breaking up with a partner, but it can still be painful even though that's what you want. So that's what I'm getting here. Five of Pentacles being in reversal, well, that's actually really good because it's like they're not really feeling that much sense of loss with this. It's just more of the emotional pain rather than actually feeling like, oh my God, I'm losing something. So yeah, that's pretty positive. So let's see what's going on in their headspace. What are they thinking? have the star, we have the queen of cups, and we have the four of swords in reverse. Hmm. I'm seeing this as them just really um, being in tune right now with their own intuition, especially in terms of this, this pain not having healed yet. But I'm getting a sense of hope this is, it almost, <laughs> it almost sounds too good to be true, but um, again, you know, this, it's not going to be for every single person, okay? Um, but there's a lot of hope here that the masculine is um, currently experiencing, especially in terms of being able to eventually heal this, this pain, or it's like, having hope that and knowing that it's okay even if this still hurts, that it's still the right thing to do. It's still what my heart wants. Really interesting. All right, let me see what is going on with them emotionally and I might actually clarify this, this second row. I feel like there might be something more to it. But let's see what is going on with them emotionally. Alright, we have the moon. Okay, just realized the camera is... Okay, there we go. Uh, the six of cups, which was completely sideways, I think, and the knight of pentacles, also sideways. Alright. There's definitely a plan here. I feel like that's the action, and I feel like they are um, beginning to implement that plan. I feel like it's beginning to be implemented because emotionally, like I said before, they, they feel like there's this void, like they don't know where they're going. That's the moon here. So it's like what I said before, it's like taking these steps, following their intuition, all of a sudden having this hope and but it's like, it's still scary. It's still intimidating. They still don't know where they're going. It all feels very, very mysterious to them or like something new, um, which can be very intimidating. 
but there's this, it's like there's this longing, there's this longing for something deeper, as I was saying in the beginning. There's a longing for a very deep connection, which um, apparently is not present in the relationship with the karmic partner here, or, or if it's a situation, it could be that that situation, you know, let's say it's work, for example, or if it's um, something cultural, it's keeping them back from being able to have something more um, meaningful, deep, feeling that connectedness. And I feel like they have a very um, strong longing for that at the moment. And it's like, it's gradually getting stronger and stronger and stronger with this Knight of Pentacles. And again, I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is actually representing that action. It's just saying, you know, that it's step by step. This action is happening, happening step by step, but that cycle is closed. The world card was the very first card out. All right, so let me clarify this second row to understand it a little bit, a little bit better. It almost feels like this is like a secret plan, but the secret plan is even secret from the masculine. Like the masculine doesn't even fully understand it. It's like, it's like they're just following it um, without really knowing where it is that they're going. But they're just, it, it's like, okay, you know, what am I feeling guided to do moment to moment? And it's like in every moment they're, they're doing what they're feeling guided to do, but not really knowing what the end goal is. And that's why it's like this, it's like a very, um, it's not even, I guess you can't call it a plan then, can you? It's like the plan, I mean, you can if it's a secret from them, <laughs> but for them, it's not a plan. Like they, they're not like so aware of it. Um, really, really interesting. Okay, so let me clarify the second row with the star, the queen of cups and the four of swords in reverse. So what they're thinking here. Right, and we have the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Five of Swords in reverse. Let me just put these here. It's like there's this, uh, first of all, just like I said, um, about there being like some kind of a, like an ego death. I'm totally getting that here as well. Um, it's like following their intuition and their heart rather than their ego, rather than, you know, what is going to boost their status or their sense of self, etc. Um, and they're doing this in a very, very rigid manner. It's kind of like this, this like hope that they have, it's like all of a sudden, cause I don't know, maybe it's not all of a sudden. I feel like it's all of a sudden. There's this optimism. And this, it's like this optimism, it's like very, very rigid. It's like nothing can break that right now. They're holding on to that hope, like very, very tightly that, yeah, you know what? <clears throat> Everything's going to be okay if I follow my, my, my intuition. And for some of them, this is a very conscious thought. And for others of them, it's more subconscious. It's more of just feeling that urge to do this, feeling an urge to do that, or to say something in particular, either to the karmic or to, you know, towards the situation, whatever. And they're just following that. Almost like, almost blindly following it. Um, and I do feel like they know that by doing that, like something just feels either more real or they just know that it's not going to be... Um, it's not, it's not going to be for their worst. It's going to be for their good. It's almost like, you know, um, knowing that the pain is just temporary. Okay, wow. This is, um, I think this is... A very positive reading so far. It's a, it's a lot more positive than recently, I think. Okay, so let me just move these over to make some space. And for some of them, it's also that um, 
it's like they feel like they like there's something not real about this and when I say not real I mean like not authentic or that maybe it's like there's deception or maybe there's like you know um, mind games happening within this karmic situation and I feel like what they're thinking here is that you know it's even if it's painful it's worth it it's worth going through that pain even if it takes a while for them to recover for the sake of not having those mind games anymore, not um, having that drama or, um, what's the word, like competition, like who's going to win? You know, it's almost like, I feel like some of these masculines are like, are almost literally saying to the karmic, you know, okay, you win, you win, you're right, blah, 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 you know, and that's it. Like, they don't even care to try to, um, agree on something or, you know, come to some kind of a consensus. It, it, it's giving me this essence of, okay, you win. But in the good way, in the way of, okay, you know what, I surrender to this. Like, there's no point in even trying um, to convince you, you know, of something, whatever. <clears throat> Again, details are going to be different for each of them. All right, so let's see. Masculine's energy towards their feminine. All right, two of <clears throat> wands, the emperor and the fool. Okay, wow. So it's it's interesting because the emperor and the and the fool this can be such a powerful combination but then we have the two of wands which is quite the opposite it's like more passive um, so it's very very interesting so I feel like it kind of goes back to what I was saying in the very beginning with the um, oracle cards it's like the masculine is stepping up they're stepping up they're it's like they want to take the leap of faith they want to you know just jump however they're they're holding back at the moment. That's what I'm seeing. And I mean, that's apparent anyway from observer and mute. Um, holding back, it's like there's something they want to say or there's something they want to do, but they're like, okay, wait, let me not rush into this. So it does feel like they're actually taking a, um, a pretty mature um, approach um, at the moment just because they don't want to mess something up. That's what I'm getting here. They don't want to mess something up, but it does feel like, I mean, gosh, okay, it's interesting. It's it's like, it is mature with the emperor, but then it can be quite immature with the fool. But I feel like that fool is more of like the void, like just not knowing where, where they're going. Like it just all feels um, so new or intimidating that they are deciding to just hold back for now. And it's more of, okay, thinking about it. Um, because they don't even know where they're going, as I said. Okay, so let's see what's going on in their minds. Let's find it in five please. Okay, I had a few flip over, but I'm just gonna take these three that I think this one was first, okay. So five of pentacles in reverse again. The queen of wands and the page of cups in reverse. The ones that flipped over were the two of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. Um, <clears throat> which again, that's kind of confirming what I said before about them taking it step by step. And it's because they don't, they feel like, okay, they don't know how to manage everything that's happening right now. It's like, I feel like there's a lot going on internally. So it's like a little difficult for them to cope with that two of pentacles and so again just taking it step by step not trying to rush not trying to figure everything out all at once which is what they should be doing you know step by step um it's like the next piece of the puzzle will come once you've completed this part of the puzzle so it's it's that's what they need to be doing rather than um thinking about you know the end goal actually so it's kind of like that saying where um how does that saying go <laughs> Um, somebody can leave it in the comments if you know it. You know, don't don't try to don't try to climb the whole mountain. Like, just think of the next step, something like that. Okay, because then it can be overwhelming. And so that's what they're doing. They're 
just taking it step by step, not thinking about the whole, you know, um, the whole struggle that's, that's ahead. Um, yeah, so it's like they're coming out of this victim mentality. And it, even that it's in the same line here with this, um, and I think, yeah, um, with the hope, it's like there have been times where the masculine feels like they have lost the feminine or that, you know, there's this fear, right? Um, that that they've missed their opportunity. For some reason, there's this hope now that they have not lost the feminine and there's a lot of desire. So for some of them, it could even be wishful thinking just because they're like so optimistic now about their other situation. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's, the point is, is that it's still being optimistic, still feeling like, no, you know what? I, I haven't lost the feminine. I can still try to do this. Um, the, the Page of Cups in reverse, again, they're just not expressing this. Um, but there's a lot of desire here for you with that Queen of Wands. Um, they're just not expressing it. They're not ready to express what they're feeling, thinking, because again, as I said, they don't even fully understand it. They're just kind of following um, their their heart, their inside, you know, what, what, what they're being guided towards. So it's interesting because I think it was in the last reading last week where I was saying that the um, there's a door of opportunity that is currently open. So I feel like I'm tapping into the masculines who are, you know, like just about ready to, to take it. Or they are taking it. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's going on emotionally. And even if taking it means that it just levels them up. You know, for some of them, it can be that this is, you know, all right, you know, that's it. Um, leaving the karmic behind or completely closing out that cycle. Yeah, for some of them, it's that. And then for others, it's, you know, moving up a level, um, which means getting, you know, reaching like a milestone and getting closer to that. But then again, you know, it's it's not just the karmic. Then it's also, you know, the other side with the, with the feminine. Um, Get there. Okay, so for their emotional space here, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant. I'm going to get one more. All right, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. We keep getting this card in reverse in like every single reading. I think it's been like, what, like a month and a half now? <laughs> I feel like it's definitely been like five, six times um, in a row that we keep getting this Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so... This is being, I feel like it's the same message coming through again and again, and that's usually what happens, right? Taking it step by step, putting things in place, um, even emotionally, like on an emotional level, it's like things are being sorted. Um, it's like the confusion is clearing up slowly, slowly but surely with the seven of pentacles. Um, and this is also them feeling like, you know, just step by step by step, you know, everything, you know, can move in a very positive direction and move forward. We have the Hierophant here. I mean, they're definitely feeling like this is the connection, the connection with their feminine is what they want, that it's something um, that is at such a higher level than where they are right now. It's a very deep connection. It's a, it's a spiritual connection. And this is where they want to be committed. And so they're feeling that. Um, and if they're not 100% there, well, well, the Seven of Pentacles is suggesting that piece by piece by piece, though, that's where, that's what they're moving towards and releasing those fears that they once had concerning the feminine. Um, now, feeling like, you know, certain obstacles, not, not referring to the karmic here, just other things, other obstacles that pertain only to the masculine and the feminine as a couple, <clears throat> that those obstacles can be overcome, that there are solutions to that. They're just very, very optimistic <laughs> in this reading. Um, I don't, <clears throat> I really don't feel like I need to clarify anything here. So let's move on to the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up in the near future. Okay, so for the feminines, We have all tied up. 
We'll see. We'll see what this is about, Femmies. Again, it might not be, this part might not be for all of you. <clears throat> okay, sometimes, <laughs> okay, something's going on with some of you though. <laughs> all right, because we have all tied up and then we have fear um, and you can see that cage. Both of these cards remind me of the Eight of Swords. So it's interesting that we have the Eight of Swords in reverse for the masculines, but you know, we have these cards showing up now for the feminine. I mean, what are the chances of getting <clears throat> both of these cards out together so spirit's definitely trying to tell us something here so just give me one sec to get a couple more and i will i will explain okay and we have mask and we have conclusion okay the message could not be any more clear than this I feel like um, some some feminines, okay, this might not be for all of you, only take it if it resonates, but don't like disregard it too quickly either, okay? Like sometimes it can be, the message can be something that like is, it runs very, very deep and you have to kind of like search for it, okay? So don't be too quick to disregard it. Um, but it's interesting because I was actually thinking about this before I even started the reading, like it popped into my head, that there's, <clears throat> um, okay, for some of you it's going to be more so and for others of you it's going to be less so, okay, like to a greater degree, to a lesser degree. But sometimes the feminine is also holding on to, to something, okay, now this something could be could be a karmic partner, it could be a marriage, it could be a relationship, it could be a friendship, it could be <clears throat> um, a job, it could be just about anything. So, um, where, okay, where you might feel like this particular aspect of your life or this particular relationship or maybe even belonging to a particular community, maybe even what, what you're studying, you know, what, if you're, you know, a student, you know, maybe you're majoring in something and, and you just feel trapped in that. Whatever, whatever it is, there is something here that the feminine is holding on to. And if you dig deep, you're holding on to it because somewhere deep down there's a little bit of fear, a fear of letting it go or a fear of, um, you know, not having it, losing it, or of maybe an identity change. Um, if you were to release this, like what would that mean about you? You know, if you change careers, well then that, that's, that can create an identity crisis. And for others of you, this definitely could be um, referring to your masculine, of course. Um, but I'm getting that for most of you, this is something that just feels like it doesn't represent you and that's why we have mask because you feel like it's not the real you or that it doesn't fully represent who you are or your authenticity. And then we have conclusion. <laughs> You're being asked to, you know, close that cycle out. Whatever that is that is, that is limiting you, restricting you, holding you back, Whatever it is that you feel like you don't belong to or that just doesn't vibe with you. It could even just be a group of people. Um, whatever it is, you're being asked to close that out. And, <clears throat> you know, because it feels like, you know, this masculine is like right there. So it could be, it could very well be, you know, that the masculine's energy is actually waiting on the feminine's energy to close this out before they can even proceed. So, yeah, again, just take that if it resonates, however it resonates. All right, that's all for the feminines. That was, <laughs> that was enough. Um, all right, let's see what might be coming up in the near future for the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation. Two of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. All in reverse. Um, I feel like there are... 
you know, it, again, it's like this plan, this plan that they don't know what the plan is <clears throat> or a plan that they're not even aware of. I, again, I'm getting here that they're just blindly following it. It's like, it, it, it's almost as if they're passive. It's like a passive type of an action, however that makes sense. It's like a passive type of an action where it's actually leading to... Um, <clears throat> I don't want to say exactly the ending of this karmic person or situation or people, um, but it's definitely not. It's definitely not moving forward. I mean, with this card being in reverse, I see it as a movement away from that. A movement away from that, but again, it's coming in as being very, very passive, almost like. Almost like they don't even really need to do anything. It's, it's like this dissolved, very dissolved situation. It's really hard to explain. And again, I don't know. I don't know what the specifics are. Like, I, I can't even think of any examples. But it's like, it's so dissolved. It's like they don't need to do anything. It's like, you know, the, it's like it's just taking its course on its own and, and dissolving. So, I mean, it's either that or them still being in this same type of an energy because it just needs, like, another week, which would make sense, right? I mean, how much of a difference can we see, you know, in one or two weeks? <clears throat> so, yeah. Things are still, though, continuing on this path. It's There's definitely, I don't see any reverting back or going backwards or anything like that. I, I actually see this as continuing on in this path in this way that I have been describing up till now. So sorry, I didn't have anything more exciting to say or more interesting to say um, for what is coming up, but that's that's what it is. Okay, so let's see their energy towards their feminine coming up. We have the Five of Wands in reverse, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Again, I'm getting a little bit of passiveness. Um, I do feel like what they're doing here is they're trying to avoid any complications or any kind of drama. And I feel like this has been coming up very, um, very persistently in the personal readings as well. Um, so again, I, I don't see much change. I don't see much change in the next couple weeks or so from the energy that I've already explained. I do see that beginning to weigh heavy on them, though, with this Ten of Wands, feeling like they do have this, almost like they're beginning, they're going to start feeling like they have, like, <clears throat> either a responsibility or almost feeling obligated to do something um, <clears throat> towards you, to say something or to do something. Um, because they haven't been. They haven't been, right? Two of Swords, again, it's like passive. It's like not not really doing anything, right? We have that mute, the observer. Even if you are in contact, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I do see that beginning to weigh heavy on them, which means that I feel like eventually it, just, it would only make sense that they would want to give you some kind of a hint or, you know, check in on you or, you know, throw something at you just to, you know test the waters, something. But I don't see that happening just yet, meaning in the next week, okay? Keep in mind, this is very short term. So, and <clears throat> time is relevant, so it could be, you know, a little bit earlier for others, a little bit later for others of you. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a final oracle message to close this out for those of you that this resonated for. And if it did, please do give me a like. It really does help me out a lot. Let's see. <laughs> we have Y and the Observer card again. 
there's a lot that's happening here. There is so much that is happening. I feel like this Y card, there's a lot, again, it's like a lot of the puzzle pieces falling into place. Um, the masculines are asking a lot of questions. I feel like the feminines are being guided um, to ask certain questions about your own selves and your own lives. And I know a lot of you have already done like so much work, but you know, I mean, there's always more. <laughs> it's like never ending. Um, so see what it is that you are holding on to, you know, ask these questions, just ask, ask yourself questions and sometimes you can get the answer. Um, an observer, it's kind of like, yeah, right now, it's like things are playing out and it, it feels like your higher selves are just kind of like observing like, yeah, let's, let's watch this unfold. Kind of like that. And not only that, it's also happening in the 3D for the masculine. I feel like with this observer card, it's also that it's like playing it by ear, kind of like, okay, like observing and then, okay, taking that next step, observing, taking that next step, holding back and just really being aware of certain things in the situation here. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to leave it at that. I hope it all made sense. And I thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love.